So big up Jada. I'm 23, but what the latest age range of dating men should I go? Is 23 and 35 okay? Is it that same waste man that you was telling me about before? The one that still lives at his mom's yard and he's like 32 years old or oh, 35 years old. He's a drop him out, man. The 35 year old blood clot man still living at his mom's yard. Shit. Telling you back in the day, my mom's generation and that, they would have laughed at your ass, boy. If you're 35 years old, still living at your mom's yard. My mom's generation, my mom's 52, my mom's generation, they were out from when they were 16, 17. Normal. Because back then, councils were giving out hostels and that and flats like it was nothing. I'm talking about in the 80s, yeah? Nothing to get a flat or a house. Now it's difficult. When I meet these tenants and I'm like, a guy's relatively young, 25, 30 years old in his own flat on his own. His name's on the, on, on the rent book, Jonathan Smith, yeah? I automatically think there's something wrong with this you because normal functioning men in this country, they don't get houses and flats and that. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, some people can slip through the net. Some people can get fortunate, are fortunate and get lucky at that. But for the most part, someone man's got some mental issue, boy. I know man who've had to lie and pretend that they got mental issues and that just so they can get a fucking flat. So when I meet these tenants and it's a relatively young guy and he's got his own flat, yeah, I think to myself, yeah, he had some issues before. I don't know, maybe he was homeless, something. Yeah, he weren't no functional um, human being. He weren't no bank or lawyer or doctor, I promise you, yeah? There's something wrong with him, more than likely. There's a tempest, there's a few men, they're just normal and somehow they, they were fortunate and they slipped through the cracks and that and they just got a, um, a flat or a house and that. But for the most part, there's something not right. Yeah. See, big old man like Shane. He said usually mental health or they fresh out of the jailhouse. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The reason why they have got the flat there is because they come straight out of prison or they got mental health. Yeah. No way. And they just they don't just give out flats and that to men. Listen, in this country, they don't give a fuck about you. You could be sleeping naked on the street, and the government not going to do nothing. I see how they treat some of these women as well. See, being in the care system. Something there is not, yeah, put it this way, no disrespect to anyone who's had these issues or anything like that, but other people wouldn't want to have to go down the route that they went down. So, um, yeah, like I said, there's a few men that just, they got fortunate and they was able to sit through the net or whatever and just get a council house or council flat and that. But for the most part, there has to be something wrong with you for you to get a council house, a council flat. Homeless, vulnerable person, whatever that means, could be any sort of issues, mental health issues and that, come out of jail, something. But they're not going to give an, a, a normal functioning man that goes to the gym and has a good job, you ain't getting no fucking flat. They'll tell you, you go to the, the local council office, Let's say like in my borough, Enfield, you got, we got the John Wilkes house in Ponders End. They'll say, boy, you best find a woman to go breed up. You best start a family. They ain't give you no Ross Clark council flat as a man. Not now. Years ago, yeah, but not now. <laughs>